The 729 patch has dropped, and after spending the time familiarizing myself with the content both inside and outside of Dota, I can finally discuss the changes and describe how I feel the meta is shaping up. And I believe the biggest game changer, the one that will decide how the early game is played for the mid lane, is the runes. First off, the minute zero bounties pop up on the power rune spots instead of the outermost river. This change essentially allows the stronger mid laners to participate in the action, since it's literally on their turf, and also allows weaker mid laners to get an advantage on block should the opponent participate in the rune fight. Afterwards, we've got the biggest offender of them all. The new water runes, spawning on the 2nd and 4th minutes respectively, both sides of the river, and the bounty runes, spawning more frequently every 3 minutes. The water rune itself does provide a little bit of healing upon consumption, but more importantly, it refreshes the bottle. This is why, in my opinion, every hero that previously was reluctant to put a bottle into their early purchase list now must absolutely do so. Now, let me expand on this point a bit. We've got battle refill with a minute 2 rune, minute 3 rune, and minute 4 rune. Every battle user greatly benefits from this, since these refills allow them to play more aggressively or soak up more punishment from natural counters. For these reasons, I believe that every hero that heavily uses spells during laning will have an easier time in the lane than before. A hero like Kanka does not benefit from mana refills, so his laning impact is limited to just health refills, while someone like Lina will be able to do more in the lane either with harassment or wave clear, because she knows she'll be able to regain the mana spent on top of health. So, picking a hero which can use mana to either flash farm or drive out the opponent from the lane is a more viable strategy than it was before. Likewise, a hero that was previously heavily punished by counters now can afford to sit in the lane longer, because they will be able to recover most resources thanks to those runes. These two things, however, sort of cancel each other out, so unless the other player will not buy bottle or cannot reach runes to refill, we'll just see two superpowered mid laners doing the same thing they did before the patch. Which brings me to my next point. Denying the opponent runes is harder to do, but, if successful, yields greater impact. If a mid laner is banking on the constant battle refills via runes, denying at least one of these refill cycles should have consequences. While it is unlikely that supports can afford to leave their lanes minute 2, minute 3 to 4 we should be seeing some movement, and it would make sense for a dedicated roamer to return. So, as a mid laner, what's the plan? Buy a couple of stat components, a single set of tangos, then save up for the bottle to be delivered before minute 2. Now you can either heal up the harassment from an overly aggressive mid laner, or become that overly aggressive mid laner yourself. You've got the resources. Spend them freely, since in just one minute Bounty will refill your bottle again, and then, a couple moments later, same deal with a minute 4 rune. From 4 to 6 is game as usual. If you don't feel comfortable laning, you should be good to go to reach level 6 in the jungle. Then, just like in the last patch, the best idea is to start making plays. And if you can't make plays in mid, you can always make plays in the side lanes. Now, as an ending point, I'll give a couple of words on how the patch has affected Storm Spirit in particular. Reduced global mobility and spell reach has naturally made every spirit better. Removed Necronomicon also removed many annoying heroes associated with it. I have updated these Storms in-game guide, which you'll be able to find in the description, but in general, I still believe Orchid first is the way to go. As for talents, you now have a broader choice whether you want to go more into right clicks or spell damage, on match to match basis. Kaya now amps more regen, which makes Bloodstone after Orchid even better, and checking clarities as before is still a necessity. Lastly, 
Some jump speeds got reworked, but I haven't found them to be of any impact to my own precision. Overall, Storm, a natural battle user and early game brawler, is also a natural winner of this patch. So, go grab yourself a couple of matches with a hero, and as always, thank you for watching, good luck. Where's the party? Sit down. <laughs>